What's up everyone? This is Josh from Reddit Viper bringing our latest uh, war recap. I see uh, a bunch of green here, so looking good, Reddit Viper. Um, we uh, faced a clan called Hanoi Saigon. Um, they're level 4 clan, so we weren't really sure what to expect. And uh, there's a level 8 clan with the same name that we thought maybe was a sister or feeder clan, uh, but didn't really know. Got into the war and uh, looked at their bases. They had some pretty decent base designs and uh, you know decent heroes and everything. And uh, then once we started the war, we realized they were uh, almost 100% that they were they were using some kind of X mod or you know one of the softwares, the cheating softwares. Well, I consider them cheating. Um, but they uh, they ran you know some scout attacks on our top guys. Uh, can show you the, their war log here they had uh their you know their number 30 guy run scout attacks uh their number 27 and also their number 29 um so you know it is what it is that's you know you see that stuff in the game um but when they uh two a couple of their first attacks um, after they scouted them, they three-starred our number four and number five, you know, both both Town Hall 9s, Alex and Work, um, I'm sorry, Town Hall 10s, Alex and Work, uh, first attack, you know, three stars, uh, you know, it's when that happens, it's right after they scout them, it's just pretty, you know, pretty suspicious, and then they did the same thing with our four of our top five Town Hall 9s, um, you know, Weenus, Justin, Tex, and Brown, uh, they all, all four of those, you know, ran scout attacks and then, you know, three started them, you know, after that, after some practice. Um, so it is what it is. Like I said, um, they did not get three stars on all of our Town Hall 9s. So that, you know, that was the difference in the war. If they would have three starred all our Town Hall 9s, we didn't get any threes on their Town Hall 10s. So they would have won the war. But uh, we, we did our job on their Town Hall 9s. Um, we got all of them except for one. They're number six. They're top Town Hall 9. We uh, we only got two on. But other than that, and we got two on all their Town Hall 10s. Our Town Hall 10s did awesome this war um, because they had some tough bases. But uh, so, yeah, so we got the job done. A tough war, uh, but, yeah, got it done here. A um, couple things to point out before we get to some attacks. Uh, one guy, Mo Freezy here, the the defensive all star. Five attacks they ran on his base and did not get three. Um, so great job, Mo. Uh, keep that base design running. It's it's working for now. Uh, and then uh, on their side, they had a couple of really tough bases. Um, their number eight and their number ten, uh, five attacks and six attacks. We ran on those two. Um, so we'll see the the attack on number eight. Um, Weenus, the Weenus had a had a nice attack there. So. Let's get to it. Uh, actually, before that, uh, six our six star assassins. Just want to recognize those guys that had you know had great wars. Uh, work had six. Tex, um, Tex Battleax, uh, Chuckles, Nervous Norwall, uh, myself squeaked out a couple there. Savior and Nep were two of our Town Hall eights that you know both cleared out and got six stars. So great job. Um, just you know, good good war guys. Uh, keep that keep that stuff going. So let's get some attacks here. Um, first, actually, one of I'm gonna show you one of our Town Hall eight attacks. Uh, Savior uh, did a really nice. You know, a lot of Town Hall eight is either drags or, or uh, you know hogs, mass hogs. Um, but Savior did a really nice uh, go ho here. So just wanna wanna take a look at this one. Um, just give a you know quick synopsis. It's uh, he brings his golems in from the side, draws the CC, you know, just pulls it out, but then brings his golems followed by some funneling whiz and uh and then his king you know comes in there um with you know some some more whiz on the back end um just run it here uh per, you know from there it's just surgical hogs around the base it drops you know drops hogs on each defense um i think he kind of does both sides um but just a really nice for you know for a town hall eight attack um i had actually hit this base with um just with straight hogs and failed um i i think i only got one um so the giant bombs were just kind of in weird spots they were um i think the there was one one up here right where that drag is right now and then one down here and one over here or over here so they were not weird spots but just not you know you couldn't pre-trigger them at all and uh so you know first attack without knowing where they're at they um just lost too many hogs with them and uh so didn't didn't get it done but he came in you know on the follow-up cleanup attack with this goho and uh just looked great um the golems take out one of the giant bombs down here and uh about to trigger right over yeah right there 
Uh, there's the first giant bomb. The second one's over here. It does get a few hogs, uh, but you know he's he's deploying surgically, so it only takes out literally those those three hogs there. And uh, and then from there, it's just you know the bringing the hogs around the base. The surgical deployment is just so so money. You know you just get so much value for it. So um, you know clearing out defense all the defenses. Uh, you know some stuff is still targeted targeting his. Uh, Oh no, I'm sorry, his his king's down. That was the enemy king there. But uh yeah, just uh pretty pretty straightforward goho. You don't see him too often at Town Hall 9 or 8 because guys aren't proficient with it, but he he gets it done. So great job there, Savior. Um ready ready to move up to Town Hall 9 with that attack, it looks like. You'll, you'll be sitting pretty. Um, look at how many hogs left. So great job by Savior on that Town Hall Town Hall 8. I think that was one of their top Town Hall 8s. Yeah, I think they just had one higher one. Uh, second attack we'll look at is uh, play on their number 15. Um, play jumping up from number 20. Play is one of our studs. Uh, alt, alt for work. Um, here, uh, go, uh, go Valoon on this one. Um, so really nice, you know, it's perfect base setup. Got one, two, three uh, cord, and then this this uh, air defense right there. So you know, pretty pretty nice setup. He's just going to bring his golems from you know from this side, you know, funneling whiz, and then his valks, you know, just coming up the middle and uh, jumps them, you know, jumps them into the core and uh, takes out you know all these air defense, all four air defense takes out the queen, takes out both expos with the. Uh, with those nine valks, a couple of golems, and his heroes, and from there it's just uh, you know just dropping his loons surgically. Um, I think he, I think he works clockwise um, around the base, um, but you know just dropping a couple of balloons per per defense, and you know once all this stuff is down in the core, all that you know heavy DPS stuff is down, uh, then you know it's it's gravy from there. So really nice, nice. I'll let it run here. Really nice go balloon attack from uh, from play. So one of those attacks that you you know it's it's base specific. You know it's not like goho that you know seems like pretty much any base you can run goho on and and have a chance at getting the three on. But um, go balloon it takes a specific base, but it's great to have in your back pocket when you uh, when you find a base like this with cord air defense. So good that we have uh, guys like Play in the clan. Um, I know. Uh, I think on the last last one we ran a, uh, a replay from uh, the Black Hand that was a, a Valk attack. I don't think it was Govaloon, but uh, but yeah, you, you see those Valks just in, getting into that core. He heals them up and uh, just to keep them alive. And then already he's dropping his balloons. You know, once he knows those ADs are down, starts getting balloons down so they can start taking out those outer ring defenses. And uh, I think he has a, a few Valks that survive through all. Yeah, look at these Valks down here. Um, he's still got four or five Valks that survive all that and are still tanking. You know, for balloons, they they have, mm. Valks have a lot of <clears throat> a lot of hit points, so they keep tanking. You know, taking damage while the balloons are able to work their way around. This one. This one uh, Tesla stays alive, but you'll see it it keeps stays focused on his king the whole time, um, so his balloons are able to just you know keep working around and d doesn't end up losing any balloons to those Teslas. Uh, so works out perfect. He's uh, got some cleanup whiz going, and uh, once this Tesla goes down, it's it's just clean up from there. So a really really nice attack. Just fast forward the the rest of this cleanup here. Really nice attack by play. Um, you know, Queen still all has full health on his Queen, so just a, a great, great attack there on uh, on one of their you know, decent, decent timelines. Uh, next one up, we'll look at uh, Chuckles. Um, our number fourteen hit their number eleven. Uh, so let me pull this one up here. Chuckles ran a, a Goho. Uh, you know, fairly straightforward Goho. Um, but you know one of these one of these interesting bases, you know, decent base design where you don't really know where the double giant bombs are. Um, you know, there's a, a few different places that they could be. Um, you, you would assume there's probably going to be some in there. Um, could be one here. Um, you know, in here. So you know, handful handful of locations that you're not really sure where the where the giant bombs are going to be. Um, I don't remember if this is a cleanup attack. I think it was um but i don't have it didn't write that down 
Um, <clears throat> but yeah, just a, a great attack by Chuckles. And uh, someone's blowing up my phone here. Uh, so let me run it here. He, um, I don't remember which direction he comes in. Out of the way here. Yeah, comes in. I, I thought he came kind of straight at the queen. Uh, so he, he brings his, his troops in from this angle. And, uh, you know, that's all fairly straightforward kill squad stuff there to get in there, uh, take that stuff out. I think he does get a double giant bomb right in here, I'm pretty sure, with his kill squad. Once he, once that, that that's right, that golem jumps over there and takes that out. And uh, so gets that out of the way. I, th I think there is another giant double giant bomb that he has to worry about um, up here. We'll see in a second here if that's true. Um, but yeah, that golem gets that bomb there. He's got the queen down, and uh, he's you know his queen is doing a little work, and then he starts bringing his surgical. I I didn't like not here. Um, he there's really only one defense. This you know this cannon that that giant's gonna tank for. Um, so you know two can or two mortars. You don't really need a, a tank for those. They're not gonna they're not gonna hurt your hog. So. I could have found a, found a better spot for that giant, but, you know, that's just being kind of nitpicky. He he crushes this base. So, um, yeah, there's the other. Oh, I guess it was a, a single, single double, or giant bombs, the other two. Oh, no, 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 it was a double. It was just I had the wrong spot. Um, so, you know, with the surgical deployment, they, they don't, they're not harmed by that double giant bomb there. It only hits a couple of them, and he has a heal right behind it anyway. So um, I, I do think this was a cleanup attack. So I think he knew where the giant bombs were, which, you know, that, that helps. But still, just a, a really nice attack, and, you know, all the defenses are done. It's just clean up from there. So uh, great job, Chuckles, hitting their, uh, hitting their number number 11. This uh, clean up there, there's three stars. So nice job, Chuckles. Next one up, we've got, uh, let's see here, we'll jump to, um, I'll save that one for last. We'll jump up to number eight. Um, was uh, This was an interesting base. Uh, oh, I got a, I forgot. Work actually three-starred this first, um, which Work is one of our Town Hall 10s. Um, so he three-starred it. The Weenus, he was saving his attacks for the later. War, um, so we had already won at this point. But I still want to look at his attack because it was a it was a really nice attack, um, and he did a really nice queen walk. So we're gonna look at the queen walk here. War's attack was great too, but you know just when Town Hall Nine three stars, one of their top Town Hall Nines, we'll we'll watch that one. So he um, let me pause it and just draw it out here. He just brings a couple of uh, minions to you know do. Uh, no, he doesn't funnel this side. Sorry, he just funnels this side. And then he's going to bring his queen in here and just walk her all the way around here. And then she'll meet up with his kill squad, you know, where he brings in his golems and, uh, you know, some whiz behind and his king. And then he's going to jump them in here to take out his, his, uh, the enemy king. And then from there, it's, you know, he's just going to run surgical hogs. But uh, watch how much value he gets from his queen on this queen walk. I'll, I'll let it run here because... He, um, oh, I'm sorry, he can't even see it up there, but he's got his queen down uh, with four healers on her, and uh, she just works her way around. She takes out the, um, she, out there. she takes out the enemy queen, she takes out, you know, this cannon, archer tower, uh, can, this cannon, um, uh, this archer tower, I don't remember if it's down when she gets, um, if that's down with her or if she comes down with the, uh, the kill squad, but just, uh, you know, it gets a lot of, and that mortar up there too. Uh, so great, you know, great value from this queen walk. Um, luckily she didn't push over to the, you know, towards this cannon here. Um, this cannon, she... You know, she kept moving the right way. So it was a little close there, um, but she she kept going the right way. Um, see, he's already got his golems down, uh, tanking, so, you know, so his whiz can take out some of these trash buildings because he wants to make sure by the time his queen gets over here that he's he's ready to send her and the king, you know, in right here over this jump. Uh, so wants to make sure those exterior buildings are out of the way. Um, so, yeah, drops his, his king down there. Um, the The... Healers do abandon the the queen and move over to the golem, which happens a lot of times with 
you know, doing queen walks, um, once the golems start tanking, then if the healers get close enough to them, they'll, they'll shift over. Um, but yeah, so he's, uh, you know, the ex, both expo, one expo down and the other one tanking, um, on the barb king, it looks like, uh, the golems kind of, you know, went off the wrong way there, unfortunately, but it didn't matter. I mean, he's, he's smoking this base. Uh, I think he has pretty much every hog left. If this is the right attack that I'm thinking of, um, almost all of his hogs, he got a little lucky right there. Um, sorry, just one hog went over and took out those double giant bombs instead of this whole pack. He, he was still going to get it no matter what. I mean, he had plenty of hogs left behind those. Um, but th that was just a, you know, perfect, perfect scenario there. One hog peeling off to take out double giant bombs. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, he was, he was smoking this base anyway. Look at what everything he's got left. So just a, a really nice attack. It's all clean up from here. Um, beautiful attack by Weenus with that queen walk. Um, queen walks, they've got to be well planned because, you know, they can, I've seen them gone, gone bad a lot. It helps, you know, he's got those big level 30 heroes. So that's, you know, once you get up to that level, it can be a great strategy for the right base. Um, and then the, the last one we're going to look at here is uh, Aria number 11 hitting their number 9. Um, so I'll show you this base. They actually had a handful of these base designs, which are uh, really interesting base designs. We see them now more, you know, more so than before. Um, but so interesting thing about it is the location of the queen and the town hall is separate from all the air defense. Um, so, you know, kind of these uh, sectioned off bases where they're trying to defend against Laloon attacks where, you know, because you can't take out the queen with the kill squad, the, you know, the queen and an air defense or two with a kill squad. Um, so it makes it a, you know, you can't laloon it. It's a difficult hog base because you don't really know where the giant bombs are. You know, if you run a couple of scout attacks, you can find them all or, you know, one good one. Um, but area came in here, um, actually me and him worked on this plan for this, this base and it's a strategy we had seen one hive do. Um, so thanks to those guys for kind of putting the strategy out there, but, um, it, it's, uh, the technically called, I guess, a, uh, goho drago is the technical term for it. But, uh, basically what he's going to do is, um, he's going to bring his kill squad in from up here with a couple golems, his, uh, you know, wizards to create a funnel and then his queen coming in the middle here. And the goal is for the kill squad to take out this air defense, this air defense, and this um, that's it. If if they get those three, then it's a win from there. Then from there, the next step of it is to have hogs come in um, from here and take out this section, which includes this air defense here. Um, from there, all the air defense are down, and his drags, he's going to drop down here. A couple of funneling drags, and then the rest of them. So his drags will just work through the base this way. Um, see, he's got six drags. I think he has a max. Oh uh, no, he's got a max. I think he's got a max golem in the mm. clan castle. Um, but he's so six. Once all the air defense are down, he has. Let's see, one archer tower, two archer towers, the queen, which she goes down really quick when you know once she locks onto drags. Actually, I think in this attack she gets taken out by the kill squad. Um, which, you know, was, wouldn't have mattered either way, but you know, he, he just minimal, I'll let it run here. Um, but minimal defenses left that can do any harm to his dragons once those air defense go down. Um, so just a, a really great strategy for this type of base where the air defense are all separated out from, from the archer queen and you can't, you know, do a, a go, uh, go laloon, you know, take out the queen and the air defense. Or, you know, even just a, a pentaloon isn't going to do it because the air defense are going to pop all your uh, all your lava hounds and there's going to be no, no pups near the queen to take her out. So just a, you know, perfect strategy for this base. He, he has really good patience to, you know, waits. His king goes down at the right time so that he can get in there. I think the, the king is actually who takes out that last air defense. Uh, oh, no, it, it is his queen. Um 
his king is going over after the enemy queen. He takes out the, his king takes out the enemy queen. Um, so uh, sorry, I missed. He already dropped his hogs over here, but dropped his hogs with a heel on them, and then now his his drags are going down. Um, personally, I had planned on him putting his drags down. Uh, before the hogs but because I was just worried about time um, but it ended up he took out so much of the base up here with his kill squad that uh, he had plenty of time left you know for his drags to work around and uh, just I mean just a awesome attack everyone everyone was was super pumped about this one it was it was kind of the attack of the war um, just because it was a different strategy that you don't see very often I mean there's not many bases that it'll work on we there was one other base uh, where I think work or someone did a did a cease or did a kill uh you know killed the aq with two dragons um you know and took out a little portion of the base but you know to have this was you know primarily a dragon attack with you know the dragons did a lot of the work uh, but they could do a lot of the work because of all the defenses that do so much harm to them were already cleared up so um so just a, a great attack for this style of base and uh, I'll just, you know, run it two times the speed here so we can get through it a little quicker. But, uh, you know, got a little close at the end, but, you know, those those level four drags, they, they've got plenty of health for those couple of defenses left. And um, so just a, a great attack there by Arya, perfectly executed. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's it. Great war, Viper. A tough war, but... Um, you know, when, when things got, things got tough, we, uh, we, the tough got going, I guess, is the saying. Uh, so great job guys. And, uh, we'll catch you on the next one.